Want to add more variety, challenge, and reward to your level? Today we're going to learn how to add Shelmet timers into our Mario Maker 2 levels starting right now. In Super Mario Maker 2, a timer is a contraption that delays something from happening. Shelmet timers are useful for when we want the player to survive a section for a certain duration, or for when we want the player to complete a task within a certain amount of time. These timers are great to free the player up to focus on challenges, and to reward the player for enduring the obstacles we throw at them. Our contraption works by placing a shelmet on top of a horizontal trampoline that launches the shelmet towards the POW block. We then add breakable blocks in between the starting point and the POW in order to slow down the progress of the shelmet. Once the shelmet reaches the end of our contraption, Mario will be allowed to leave the area. If we want to change the length of the timer, all we need to do is add blocks to increase the duration or remove blocks to shorten the duration. Now that we understand the basics of how the timers work, let's look at five examples of easy timers we can add into our levels. In this example, we see that a muncher who has been hitting the gym blocks the path and our only way to progress is to hit the POW block. Mario actually has no control over hitting the POW block. Our timer contraption is in charge. Because Mario does not need to worry about activating the block, he can focus on the cannonballs that flood the room. All Mario needs to do is dodge the cannonballs for about 10 seconds until the POW gets hit and the muscular muncher is no more. Our next example uses a bullet blaster mechanism instead of the shelmet with a trampoline. The bullet blaster tends to be a bit slower than our first contraption, so it might be useful if we want a longer timer for our level. The way this contraption works is the bullet blaster launches a shelmet, the shelmet hits the closest breakable block on the way to the question block, then falls out of the contraption. After a short delay, the bullet blaster launches the next shelmet. Once the shelmet reaches the question block, a vine appears for Mario to climb out of the area. Putting our contraption to use, the muscular muncher has returned and brought three other flavors of pain with him. Mario needs to dodge the grinders, fire bars, cannons, and macho muncher while our timer does its job. Once he evades the painful obstacles for long enough, the vine appears as if out of nowhere to safely transport him to our next area. I need to know guys, do you prefer the standard shelmet with trampoline setup? or the bullet blaster setup? Let me know in the comments below. The third shelmet timer goes back to our original mechanism of the shelmet on the trampoline. The only difference with this one is what happens when the shelmet reaches the end of our contraption. In this case, instead of a POW, we create a P-switch that immediately is activated when triggering the question block. This works because we left space above the question block using a donut block for the P-switch to appear. Once the P-switch appears, it actually goes slightly above the donut block where the massive muncher sits. This big boned muncher immediately activates the P-switch the moment it makes contact. Using this contraption, our malevolent muncher brought all of his friends to create a speed challenge. Mario must run as fast as he can through the maze while jumping perfectly. If he does not get through the maze in time, our shelmet timer activates the deadly P-switch, causing all of the blocks in the maze to become coins that drop him into a sea of murderous munchers. Our next contraption will delay the player from getting essential items to complete the room. We start with our favorite shelmet on trampoline heading towards a question block set up. This time, we put springs underneath the question block at the end to make sure that the shelmet will hit the block above that spot. When the shelmet reaches the question block, a juicy item will appear for the player to use. For this part of the course, we actually used two contraptions at once. I know, it's kind of a big deal. Mario must survive the hordes of Goombas while he waits for the top contraption to retrieve his trusty key. 
The bottom contraption will reward Mario with a juicy fire flower to burn through his enemies. Once he has both items, all he needs to do is avoid the malicious muncher and go through the key door to the next area. Our final contraption combines most of the elements we have talked about so far, but in order for the timer to start for this one, Mario has to activate a P-Switch himself. Once he steps on it, our Shelmet can start flying through our contraption. This works by putting a cannon on top of a block to keep our Shelmet from starting until Mario activates the switch. Once the P-Switch is active, the block underneath the cannon turns into a coin and allows the cannon to drop down. With the cannon out of the way, the Shelmet is able to travel freely through our contraption. Once it reaches the end, the Shelmet hits the trampolines again in order to hit the question block above. This time, a mini muncher, who's just trying to impress his brother, jumps out of the block and bites an unsuspecting bomb. The startled bomb explodes, leaving an open pathway for us to escape. We put this contraption in action by having the player avoid two maniacal munchers and one small Bowser. They need to activate the P-Switch before the timer will help them escape. Luckily, we also included a star that will drop down when the P-Switch is activated to help deal with the enemies in the room. Once the timer is complete, Flashy Mario can say goodbye to the Muncher Madness and peacefully finish the course. Now you know how to make Shelmet timers to activate POW blocks, P-Switches, items, and more. If you want more tips on level design and creation, check out our Mario Maker 2 playlist. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we release new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.